Hey guys, Tony back again, Horror in Todge. Hope everyone's well on this Friday evening. Coming back today with another unboxing video. So I've had my indicator sale unbox um, package come in today. So indicator, good guys at Powerhouse. Had a sale last weekend, which lasted Friday to Monday. A lot of their standard titles, $7.99 each. And uh, some box sets and that in the sale. But I had a lot of the box sets before in my old collection, what I let go. And I've decided I'm not getting many of the Hammer box sets and stuff because I only end up watching like one or two films out of each set. So I'll wait till the, till the sets actually start to bring out the standard releases and just pick up the ones I really want to sort of minimalise and, you know, not to get too cluttered. I did get one box set, which has gone out of print i think now so i'll show you guys i got with the box set i got 13 films all together and like i say really good sale i think it come to 94 pounds for 13 films so really good 7.99 a film and i think this box set was about 28 pounds so the first box the first one i got was the uh norman j warren 1976 to 19 87 bloody terror box set and um sadly at the time i ordered it i just found out that um norman j warren's passed away sadly so yeah this went out of sale this went out of print pretty quick after he passed away so glad i picked it up um because i don't know if they're going to be doing the standard releases of these because they're in these like cardboard slips i don't know like normally the hammer sets and stuff have got a standard hammer ak so I thought I'll pick this up because I don't know if they're going to be doing the standard, you know, standard releases. So that's all the stuff in this, guys. I did have this one before, but I thought I'd pick it up for £28. You get Satan Slave, Prey, Terror, Insomnoid, and Bloody New Year. Uh, limited to 6000 I got 1475 Um But really good set. You get uh, books and, you know, like individual little digi packs. Really cool set, so I'm glad to pick this up because I bet it will go for. Oh, when they go out of print, they're like normally knock up to like hundred pounds and stuff. But a really nice set with some obscure movies. I've only ever watched Bloody New Year, so I look forward to delving into this one pretty soon. Uh, these are all single releases now, guys. So I picked up um, the classic here, Richard Corbett's. Christine, John Carpenter, um, such a good movie, classic, uh, that's what I like about Indicator, they do a lot of classic horror movies, um, about a killer car, if you haven't seen this one, I suppose everyone's seen this now, from 1980, where are we, probably 83, yeah, 83, 110 minutes long, there's a, you know, standard edition, but I'm glad to have this. I don't want anything too bulky. It fit nicely on the shelf. That's Christine, a classic horror movie, guys. Another one that I've been looking forward to checking out. I haven't watched it since it came out in 1998. And cannot remember anything about it. And it's another John Carpenter one. And it's Vampires. So I look forward to revisiting this. Just a standard release. But I'm happy with that for $7.99. There we go. Surround sound, high definition remaster. Um, so looking forward to revisiting this, Vampires, um, really cool one. I picked up this one from um, 1971, um, Richard Felicia film, called See No Evil, starring Mia Farah. Great film if you haven't seen this one, great gritty 70s vibe about it, about this girl who's blind and she's sort of getting stalked in her house by this killer and um really suspenseful great stuff um just a standard release but like i said before happy with that so great film if you haven't seen that i know um lauren's collection she's a really big fan of see no evil um these are all standard editions bar one uh, another 7.99 one 70s film i think again yeah 78 um eyes of laura mars uh, a film by Irving Kirshner, so 
yeah, really cool film about a photographer, a uh, thriller. <clears throat> like I say, Powerhouse do some great stuff, Indicator. Uh, region free look, so you guys in America and stuff. But for $7.99, really cool edition. <clears throat> One of my favourite slashes, really cool film from the 80s, 1981. Happy birthday to me. A.G. Lee Thompson film. Um, got some awesome death scenes, some good twists in this if you haven't seen it, guys. If you're a big fan of slashes like me, um, really cool film. Love it. So I'm glad to pick this one back up um, for $7.99. So I will be adding some stuff I had to the collection before. We'll try and find different releases of some stuff. But if they're cheap and I find them in the sale or on the Facebook groups I'm in, if I see them really cheap, and I can't pass them up, and I'm going to watch them, I will be picking them up again. So for $7.99, great one. I've got a Brian De Palma film, what I haven't watched yet, called Body Double, meant to be good. Uh, I think this is an 80s movie as well. Yeah, 1984, the year I was born. There's the back, guys, if you want to read that. So tell me in the comments what this is like, if you've seen it. I know a lot of you guys would have, but I just haven't got around to watching it yet, but... But pick it up, $7.99, body double. This is a film out of one of the Hammer sets. Um, but I didn't really want the other ones. But I really love this film. Christopher Lee and Peter Cushion, two of my favourite actors of all time. And it is The Gorgon from 1964, I want to say. Yeah, 64. Uh, really good Hammer film about Medusa, you know. One mistake, so great practical effects for the time. And um, yeah, if you stare her in the eyes, she, turn, she turns you to stone. And some good fight scenes in this with a cushion and a lee. Really cool film. Um, so I'm glad to pick this one up without having to pick up a, an out of print box set. I like the fact they do this. I just think they look really good on the shelves. Look at that. The Gorgon, really good artwork. And the last one, guys. Uh, this is a limited edition one, but I thought, I think it was 10 quid. Um, another Peter Cushion film, uh, Calvin Lockhart. <clears throat> Paul Annett film, The Beast Must Die. I remember watching this um, a long time ago. Uh, it's an Amicus production film. I think it's like a werewolf movie, if I remember right. I remember my dad having it on VHS. And um need to watch it again, so I thought I'd pick this up for 10 quid. Uh Really cool, 1974. There's all the special features on there, guys. So I've got um, one. We'll count them up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies there. And then there's five in the bloody terror box set. So then my calculation, that's 13 films. And like I say, I think it was £94 delivered, free delivery. Uh, great stuff from Indicator. You get a, you know, a poster with all the stuff on them. Really good packaging, guys. If you ever order from Indicator, there's, um, if you can see in there, you can't really see, but you get all this, you know, bubble wrap and really well packaged. Everything's sellotaped up. I took it apart before I'd done before I filmed this because it would have took me forever to get it apart. But really happy with those classic horror movies and thrillers. So I'm not picking up too much stuff I'm not going to watch. So I'll definitely be watching all these. Uh, tell me if you've picked anything up. What you think of my pickups. What you think of these films. What I should pick up from Indicator. You know what I'm into. Horror. Uh, dark thriller. Bit out of the ordinary movies. So really pleased with these guys. And yeah. I've been Tony. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.